Hello, I'm Corey Champ. Today I'll be highlighting the Atmospheric Properties Chamber used with Passport Probeware and SparkView software. The Atmospheric Properties Chamber is new from PASCO and today I will demonstrate its use in an earth science application, the formation of a cloud. The Atmospheric Properties Chamber is designed to allow students to quantify their investigations of atmospheric phenomena related to changes in pressure and temperature. Today's activity comes from the user's manual that is supplied with the Atmospheric Properties Chamber. The manual offers an outline of this and other experiment ideas. The gist of this experiment is I will pump air into the chamber until the pressure builds up enough for a rubber stopper to pop out of the chamber. When the rubber stopper pops out, there is a rapid drop in pressure and temperature and the air inside the chamber falls below the dew point and a cloud will form. During the entire process, I will record the temperature and pressure to show a gas law relationship when the cloud forms. To perform the experiment, we first fill the chamber with a small amount of water. Next, I will put in the stopper and screw in the standoffs that will catch the stopper when the pressure is released. A portion of the water will evaporate into the chamber and will serve to lower the dew point temperature for the cloud formation. I'm going to make sure that the stopper is very secure. Okay, next we connect the tubing for the pressure sensor. And the temperature sensor for the built-in thermistor in the atmospheric properties chamber. Uh, in the cloud formation experiment, the check valves are um, set up so that air can go into the chamber to fill the chamber. They can also be reversed so air can be evacuated from the chamber. Uh, for the software setup, I will simply build a page that has two graphs. One, pressure versus time. The other, temperature versus time. I will adjust the sample rate to the maximum for temperature and pressure. I'm now ready to begin data collection. I'll push start. And then I'll begin to fill the chamber with air. Make sure you focus on the bottom of the chamber to see the cloud when the stopper pops out. And now I'll stop data collection. I'm going to scale the axes again to see, make sure we're seeing all of the data. So if we take a close look at our data, we can see the relationship between pressure and temperature as the cloud formed. It's clear to see the pressure dropped rapidly and so did the temperature. It was this rapid drop in pressure and temperature that led to the formation of the cloud. Students can further this investigation by the introduction of condensation nuclei or by using the temperature dew point humidity probe to predict what temperature the cloud will form at. As I mentioned before, the atmospheric property chamber is also suitable for low pressure experiments. I will now reverse the stopper so I can create a vacuum in the chamber. I've reversed the check valves to evacuate air from the chamber and I've also replaced the stoppers so we can pull air from the chamber instead of add air to the chamber. In this experiment, I will be boiling water below the standard boiling point by lowering the pressure. With a syringe, you can get the air pressure down to about 10% of normal 
atmospheric pressure. So I will use warm water to ensure that it boils. The built-in thermistor is not designed to get, uh, to get wet, but it will give us a good approximation of the temperature within the chamber. I'll begin data collection once more. I'm going to replace the second stopper. And now I, be I will begin to evacuate air from the chamber. Notice the, the temperature and pressure. As you can see, because of the low vapor pressure, water is boiling way below the normal boiling point of water. We hope you found this demonstration useful, and be sure to check back in the near future for more PASCO video demonstrations. Thank you.